they very kindly sent me a big bottle of it and I am overjoyed. That's uh, guaranteed sex pretty much for the rest of my life. It's favourites time. And I have to say that this month, we're rather thin on the ground when it comes to beauty products because it's all house stuff. Nearly all house stuff. And she's all house stuff and one fashion item, which is this, my Cardi that I bought for £17.50 from Marks and Spencers. And everyone keeps saying how much they love it and how it looks really pricey and it's not. And it's really just sort of lightweight, cropped, soft material. I feel like it's one of those ones you have to wear buttoned up because it doesn't look, it's not a chunky cover up kind of cardigan, which is what I normally wear. It's more like you'd wear it as a top, I feel. Why am I so zoomed in? Now look, I'm not gonna show you the bathroom. It's not a bathroom reveal because that's going on Instagram. I will do a video on here, but I want to do it on Instagram first. But one of my favorites is my floor to ceiling storage in this new bathroom. I have yearned for this since pr pretty much the moment I was born. Um, even when I was really little, even before I started doing uh, beauty and having loads of samples to organize and loads of bits and pieces for work, I still, I remember in my teens, I used to go into Boots and I bought so much stuff and I'd buy things that were on offer. My mum would be like, why do you need three of those? And I'd be like, because it's three for two. And I just loved organizing everything. And even when I was really little, and it wasn't beauty stuff, but it was, you know, flower fairies and dolls and whatever. I just loved sorting. Um, I'm actually a really messy person. However, I have to say this is helping. Now look, I have got, I'm just gonna show you in one. I've got nine of these cupboards. Look, oh, that's a skincare one. So it's most of my work beauty samples live in the shoot room, but it's so handy having all the things here that I would normally be testing, you know, on the go, or it's my staple products, or it's my favorites, and they're all in one place, and it makes it really easy for me to pick them out as well when I'm doing a video or a feature on something. So that is my mainly my skincare one, and then there are nine others. To be fair, one of those nine is a linen cupboard. Um, I don't want to show you any more because it's going to spoil the surprise on Instagram. But that's another of my favourites. Now, my third favourite is... Third thing, sorry, I thought this was in the bathroom, but it wasn't. This lipstick that I'm wearing. Now look, I've held off talking about this because I looked it up and uh, our price is quite outrageous. However, you know when you suddenly find... Oh, hello, sorry. You know when you suddenly find a lipstick that's the exact right shade for you? This has just got just exactly the right amount of pink and the exact texture that you like. So this is like a, a sort of plumpy, glossy balm texture but with really, really good colour payoff. Now when you just find it and then that's all you wear. That's what's been happening with this. But it's a Victoria Beckham one and it is really, really pricey. It's called Pout. I think I've mentioned this before. In videos but the reason it's come back into my attentions is because um, I wore it the other day and I put it on in the morning and I had lunch and when I got home it was still on there was still it was still there was quite a lot of color left on and um, although the sort of glossiness had come off the top I thought that was really good it's quite long wearing really and so I'm just deeply impressed and I've found a good colour with it. And so I feel like I'm not going to let this go. So um, I'm very quickly getting to the bottom of it, but I will be purchasing another. I feel like I'm really close today in this video. Oh, well. Okay. So look, this is the Sacred Union scent from a beautiful brand called Maoli. I had a sample of this. Oh, I think that Lex from Cult Beauty gave it to me, I think. And it must have been about 10 years ago. I'm sure it was her. And uh, anyway, I used to dab it on myself because I had a tiniest, tiniest bottle of it. I used to give myself a tiny dab. I was feeling a bit saucy and I wanted some action. Now nobody can, if you know Mr. AMR in real life, please don't tell him this because um, my secret will be out of the bag. Anyway pretty much guaranteed to work. 
every single time. I never said, no, the scent was never mentioned. He never mentioned the scent. But every single time, it was like this magic trick. Anyway, they very kindly sent me a big bottle of it and I am overjoyed. That's uh, guaranteed sex pretty much for the rest of my life. I've discovered this new house homeware brand called Umbra. I haven't just discovered them. I've bought the odd thing from them over the years. And it's so funny because every time I'm looking for something really specific, like a bin or a coat hook or anything, a mirror, um, I look and look and look and look and then I find the perfect one. And so many times it's been by this brand. So I needed some smart sort of mid-century looking um, hooks for the new downstairs bathroom. And I'll show you what they look like on the wall. One sec. Right, look. Can you see? They've got these, I think it's called the flip hook. So it's got this lovely walnut wood. Oh. Um, which I chose because it matches all of the wood in the house that we've had done. And then it's got these brass hooks that flip up and down. See? So you can have them all up and it looks really smart. And then when you need them, you just flip them down. So yeah, I bought a load more of those because I love them so much and I thought they were really, really smart. Oh God, it's got a stinger out now. Um, look, so I bought three more of those. And then, oh, I bought a shorter one with black hooks, which I also thought was really nice. And also they'd sold out of the short ones, with three hooks in brass. And then I bought this slightly different coat hook. I'm not gonna get it out, but can you see it there? It looks a bit like, um, <laughs> what are they called? <laughs> uh, what are they called? Those things that you blow into the top of them. Wind chimes. <sighs> anyway, that instrument that you do that with and it's got pipes. Um, and then you flip down the pipes and it hangs stuff. I don't know where that was going to go, but to be honest, they weren't massively expensive. And um, you always need hooks, don't you? So I think that's my five favourites. I've got to do a runner before Mr. AMR sniffs me out. See you in the next video.